Welcome, Reptilians. This is your December Heart Spread Read, where I read for you, Reptilian, and the one who's on your mind, same as I do for anyone else, because I, I'm going to step up to the plate, if not me, who, if not now, when. Reptilians are sentient beings, and they need Heart Spread Reads, just like anybody else. Reptilians, what you think, they don't have a heart? You guys got a heart. Raise your hand if you got a heart. Okay, pre shuffle guys. <laughs> well, look at that. That's uh, going to be your energy, Mr. Rep Mrs. Reptilian. Male, female, I don't count that in general read. If you want to see a personal read, in the description I have a link to my email. Send me an email. Or send me a Facebook message or whatever, you know. Um, and let me know. This could be a fang. Look at that. Ace of Swords. Look at you. Um, I mean, it's upright, but look reversed like Kachami. I mean, that's definitely a fang. Um, so this is someone, you know, I feel like where you are in terms of love and relationship, I, I don't want to hurt my camera, but I do want to kill the mosquito. You understand the instinct, don't you? Yes, it probably has blood. And you know that turns you on, reptilian. It's all right. It's all, we're all adults here. So that shows where you're at, you know, and you're, you're meeting people like Fang first. That's how you're meeting people. Or sword first, I would normally say. If this was human, I might say, you go into relationships, not with a handshake, not with a hug, but with a, your sword, tip of your sword. But you reptilians, well, hey now, you go into the relationship uh, with a fang. Mm-hmm. Give me a minute. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see. I guess this would represent us. Knight of Wands. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's time. It's time. I think this is rising up. I can't see anything else against the uh, reptilian overlords. I like to see this. That's very brave energy. It's fire, hmm? Yes, and, and action. Wands are action coming right at you here. I'm coming at you, reptilian. I'm doing a reading for you. I know you're there. I know you're ailing. Reptilians, can I tell you? I got a heart. I'm not an asshole. You know, and uh, this energy is it's killing you. I know you're trying to figure something out, but you're going to have to leave, you know. So, I'd just like to say goodbye, and um, I'd like to say that I am thinking of you. And, you know, here comes uh, humanity. You know, we got souls, bitches. I know, that's the rub, huh? Yeah, you know, it's like they hate us because we got souls. They don't really hate us, I'm telling you. I don't really, I don't think they hate us. Um, do we hate potato chips? Fear to the reptilians like a potato chip. I know you guys. I know you're making you hungry. I should. Hey, Lays, any of you guys, talk to me. Maybe you could advertise here because you know the reptilians going to be watching it. Okay. Queen of Swords. This is how you're acting towards the humans. I'm making this up. I didn't set this up. I swear to God, guys. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. This is how you're reacting. How are you meeting the uh, humans coming at you with this fiery, uh, brave, frontal attack? The Queen of Swords, cool, commanding, intelligent. You know, I understand another thing. This is you. Hi, I'm on to you, reptilians. Running your AI. It's already up and running. That's how you're meeting this. Let's see. Let's see. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. It's still at play, guys. You know, this is you guys in control. Mm, Reptilians AI now. That's what you got up your sleeves now. But you're still, you're done. You're going to have to leave, guys. I'm telling you. Nine of Swords, yeah. Well, pretty much got everybody in a fucking tither, huh? Kind of a pattern here. Uh, one way or another. Fear, 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 death, death, death. You know, worry, worry, worry. Nine of Swords. Look, hold your head. Oh my God! Like it, like life's a nightmare. Yeah. <sighs> Reptilians. Let's see what you got going on. Well, here's some advice. Now this is from Spirit, guys. You know what this advice is with the Queen of Cups for you, Reptilians, in regard to your people over here. You want their souls. This is Cancer Energy. The soul, the I see. And you know what the advice is? Get your own fucking soul. How about that? And quit trying to take it from uh, other sentient beings and reptilians. And you know, don't let the door uh, get your ass on the way out. 
and the King of Cups. Look at this. This is the advice from Spirit for the others. <laughs> uh, it wants emotion. This is the advice from Spirit, guys. We're not talking about... These are the reptilians. This is the energy. These are, so far, the two most important cards. The King and Queen of Cups. Emotional energy. Master of emotions. Emotionally available. Able to be emotionally vulnerable. Mostly intelligent. Let's see what the advice is now. All together. The Six of Swords. Yes. Yes. It's mentally to leave this. And I think with this being the advice. The mental's coming in between. And you see here the Eight of Swords. We're caught in this uh, energy. Here, Nine of Swords. We're caught in this energy. It's like you just about can't stand it. So mentally, it's like all oh, you could stand. You can't take any more. You attend it. You're dead, right? Um, so with this Six of Swords, this balance, it comes from grounding out. Grounding out. And I think this is the thing. Like, reptilians can't do this. And I think you know what I'm talking about, reptilians. So I don't know how you're going to handle that. You know, but the advice from spirit is you're leaving six of swords. It's bye bye time. You see that? And I got to tell you, reptilians, it's not a very nice exit usually with six swords and tarot. Yeah, it's like in the dark of night. You know, without a lot of dignity, without a lot of anything sometimes. But a, you know, scruff of your neck there. You you just skitter away, scamper away. You know, in the dark. You know. Um, so I think that's kind of what's going on right now. It's what's in store for your near future, man. You know. And here you have the two of swords. I see. You just look at this picture. And I think what I do with this is I kind of picture you keep trying to take human form. But with this two of swords, you're just spinning off into space. You know. Because you can't stay here anymore. So your minds just have to go. You have to release yourselves. I don't know what you do. You, I know you're fourth dimensional beings. This is not pleasant energy. I think you're going to find yourself completely alone, reptilians. Maybe that's a problem for you. Much as you might not want to admit it. But here on Earth, I think the energy is going to become like emotionally supportive energy this is what's going on it feels hard now it feels like swords but it's actually not it's, be, it's healing energy so there's going to be healing I don't know what does this mean it'll be free energy it's going to be medical care for people who need it it's not going to be all this nonsense that goes on and the fear of death will be over we'll just live our fucking lives for the love of God man it's really not that hard but all is count I'm all you know bye bye Reptilians. That's all I got to say. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>